Hello guys, Jeff from, whoops, Jeff from here to give you another video. Or should I say Jeff from Studios, so Jeff and Taylor Comic, however you like to call me. Well, here I am, gonna draw something, but I wanted to make a video of it. Just, you know, a filler. I guess you could say this is filler, but I want to show you how I turn a recognizable or, yeah, a recognizable cartoon character and convert them into my style into my tunime style. So yeah, this will be fun. Let's see. I'm gonna switch to a different uh, color here. Yeah, I am recording, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so, got my uh, little pencil ready. So-called pencil. And I will place the, the character that I'm gonna draw. All right, well, recently, if you haven't if you, if you haven't noticed, I've been into a, sh a new show called The Loud House. I am a fan of it, a genuine fan, really. I make fan art of it, and I don't make fan art of a show unless I'm a genuine fan. Not because it'll you know make me money or get me views. I, I, I generally like the show. On my other channel, I've, I'm starting a you know, review series of it. So you can check that out, JFM Studios. And uh, actually look at the reviews. It's it, it's fun. It's going to be a fun series of reviews. But, okay, here it is. I'm just going to draw one of the characters, and I choose the win. So she's going to be pasted on here, and we'll see how she looks like in my style. I'm just going to draw a, a bust. A bust is just the head and uh, part uh, and the top part of her body. There's that. Actually, I'm gonna make her a bit smaller. Yeah. So this is how the character looks like in the original style. So let's see how she looks like in the tuna Bay style. All right. Like I said, it's just a bust. Uh huh. Yeah, the opacity is just right. Shut up. Okay. Well, first things first, in the Tuna style, I draw the circle, the head. They have heads. <laughs> Excuse me, they have circles for heads. <laughs> Everybody has heads. Otherwise, they wouldn't be alive. Yeah, I guess you could say this is a little tutorial on how to draw like me. I have yet to see another person draw like me. I guess I'm just a unique a unique artist like that. One of the best compliments I got in DeviantArt was from a, you know, a Deviant artist named Miss Paradox. And I met her and her sister at Nagocon. You know, they, they're, they're Adriatic artisans. And she said that, I, that my style is very iconic and great. And I, and I, and I, thought, I thought that was cool, very cool of her to say. All right, so Luann's shoulders aren't really that uh, aren't really that uh, wide because you know she's a 14-year-old girl, and you know 14. Just think about me. I might just think about drawing Cassidy or Jane. They're both 14, so basically they have the same body frame as Luann. So there's the basic wire frame up or increase the opacity a bit just so I can uh, see these sketch lines better so the ear I always draw the ear first I don't know why that's just how it is I don't like that color don't like that color at all okay. I don't know I don't know why I choose blue when I when I write a sketch I guess it's easier to see rather than black or red I don't know I just, I just I, Everybody draws in this blue style. A lot of digital artists do. Even with a non-photo blue pencil. You see that a lot. So I guess it's, it's normal. Alright, so with her nose, you see her nose is very um, pointy. So, let's see how this looks like in the Tunime style. Basically the same. Like that. Almost like a 
a standard button nose, but a, a bit curved. Her mouth, of course she has those buck teeth and the braces. I don't know. Sometimes when I draw these characters, I actually include their original features to make them more recognizable. Like the buck teeth, I normally don't do that, but if I were to draw this character and have and have her shown at, at DeviantArt or, or at a convention, people I want people to recognize her, so I have to I have to include the buck teeth. So she has large eyes. So I do my usual large eyes, which is just circles. I don't really connect the circles, I just do uh, top and bottom here. Lower lip. And she has that tight hair. <laughs> tight hair. I don't know what, what else to say. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's tied. Not a lot of uh, loose hair floating about, so I do this. Of course, she has those antennas. I call them antennas, like a uh, like that character from Love Hina, something. Maybe the creator was inspired by anime like uh, Love Hina. A little tie, her hair tie. ponytail. So she's a very happy teenage girl, so her expression is just that. Now, uh, with uh, I'm not going to use my usual eyes. I'm just going to use, uh, not the dots, but um, dots with the highlights, which look like this. And the land shirt, I guess it's just a, I don't know, I guess it looks like this. I'm hard time. <laughs> You'd think it'd be so simple. Okay. Finalize the lines of the shoulders. And, of course, her little flower, a fake flower that squirts water right now. I'd be so mad if somebody were to do that to me, squirt water into my face. It's like, how do you know, how do I know if it's water? You know, it, it, it might be acid or something, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to sue. Because you ruined my, my face. You made my ugly face even uglier. Come on, man. It's not cool. Alright. And that's how you draw Luann. I don't know, should I finalize her? I don't know, this is all about drawing. Um, this, is just, this is just how I were to turn a a, a, a character into my, in my into my style. It's very easy. My style is very fun to look at and it's very um, adaptable into any style. I can, I can make any real life person and I can make any cartoon character into a Tuname character. You know? Alright, so there's that. But I want to do something else. A little bonus. Which, if I can uh, open something. Alright, this is something I want to do just to show, showcase my <laughs> Photoshop skills. I want to edit a a, a a screenshot from the Loud House. It's gonna be fun. So let's uh, let's begin. It's this screenshot here. This is from the episode Two Boys and a Baby, which I'm I, I kind of rated it fairly low. I guess you can say it's my least favorite episode so far. But yeah, I'm just gonna 
edit this to my personal tastes. First things first, we must fix Aunt Ruth's feet. I'm going to give her a pedicure. So this is how I would do it. Basically, I would color everything and just erase those, those ugly parts. And I'm doing everything in one layer, I'm not... Oh, actually, I think I will do it in one layer, just in case I do a mistake. And this is a pretty low-resolution um, screenshot, so if you see tiny, tiny squares or something, then that just means I'm zooming in very, very close. But yeah, I'm just cleaning things up. And here's the thing. She said she has an extra toe. Extra toe, as you can see right here. Six. Six toes on her on her feet, on her foot here. But it confused me because it's like, you know, the characters on the show, they have four fingers, four toes, and wouldn't Aunt Ruth have three extra toes? Think about it. Just saying. Get that looking beautiful. I am a pedicurist and a manicurist. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just doing things in my own personal taste, just being a freak because that's how I am. I wouldn't really do uh, disgusting gag humor like that in Jeff and Taylor. That's just not my style. I mean, and I just want to fix Ruth's feet because it, it, they're, they're dying to be fixed. You know, I don't. They don't need to be rubbed. They need to be fixed. You know. That's why I'm giving her a pedicure. And they're done. Look at that. Normal feet. If you don't count the extra toe here. She has Danny Garcia feet. <laughs> if you don't know who Danny Garcia is, he's a professional boxer. And he was born with 11 toes. And that's why he, he always jokes around. That's why he never gets knocked down. Because he's like, oh, my extra toe gives me balance. It's like, whatever. You haven't been knocked down because you haven't faced good opposition. Very good opposition. Freak. Yeah, six toes on one foot. It makes you a freak. All right, so I'm just BSing here, but oops, but I'm having fun. All right, so what's next for me in this channel? Well, I've, I'm concentrating on episode. Uh, what is it? Episode twelve. Jeff and Taylor should be out soon. Just concentrating on that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it should be out this month of August. It really should, it should be out. And it's going to have a season finale uh, type of feel to it. Just, you know, just, just, just to tease you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not coloring it, you know, everything's all getting colored. Of course, there are a few pages that I have to, uh, I have to um, do over because it's not what I uh, want to do. just want to make the narrative make sense, you know. All right. All right, so here we go. I just made the screenshot better. Let's save it. Let's flatten the image first. Save it. Here we go. You might see this picture in my review of the Loud House. So there we have it. 15 minutes, not bad. 
Well, not bad. So, sorry if this filler video bored you to tears, but it's it's what I do. I just want to share. I just want to share it. So, look forward to more Jeff and Taylor related stuff. And look forward to episode 12 coming out later this month. So, that's it. I'll see you guys in another video really soon. JFM out. Goodbye.